This week, some research came out that showed why some people are more sensitive to pain than others. Oh, and so obviously I was like, I'm going to relate to this and <laughs> use this in my back pocket for when Greg complains because I obviously okay. am very sensitive to pain. We need to explain. I have a, I don't know, maybe even sick relationship to like not being it. <laughs> like it's physical pain. Obviously I can feel physical pain and honey I can feel emotional pain we're getting? both on the extreme ends I'm a baby and you sometimes don't feel pain well like I don't it's so interesting because I can never get into your like neurophysiology to understand I'm just so curious but I do feel like sometimes things happen like someone will like slap my arm and I'll be like oh that didn't hurt and in fact I kind of <laughs> like this <laughs> not kinky or anything but like no. I just can't explain it people are always like didn't that hurt and I'm like wait what mm -hmm. should it have and I always end up feeling insecure yeah you're very resilient in many ways that come with physical discomfort yeah I'm very curious about this study okay so basically the study was done in Britain they were looking at DNA and genetics and there's going to feel like there's a contradiction here because the, I know you have a lot of Neanderthal DNA in use, uh, <laughs> given that <laughs> Drag me to the our, core of the our earth. DNA samples that we looked at. Uh, they found out that there's a mutated Neanderthal gene in a small percentage of humans that leads to this oversensitivity in pain. Oh. Now, obviously, I may not actually be one of these people. I just thought it was funny that uh, there are reasons why people have different pain sensitivities. So this gene in particular controls a protein that gets created that regulates sodium coming in and out of channels that are directly related to pain associations. Hmm. So when the mutation exists, it's something like three different amino acids get changed. Suddenly, the sodium channel is way more sensitive. And so it's what's regulating someone's pain and it's firing way more often and way more uh, with a lower threshold, if that makes sense. Yeah, interesting. And so the, yeah, the gene codes for the protein, it was called NAV 1.7. So I okay, I'm always like, you gotta name these proteins better, hon. You know, I know. I know. Like call it like the like pain protein. I know, I know they're like, there's obviously nomenclature as to why they're doing this, but sometimes I'm just like, oh, it's gonna be so hard for someone on the third degree, like a third year, bio test to remember this but if it was called the pain one the pain protein we'd all know what it does and we'd get that answer right yeah or just like neo pain yeah like, yeah oh, the neanderthal pain gene yes yeah. that's very easy to remember <laughs> anyway i just was relating to this because i definitely am very sensitive when it comes to pain i have a low tolerance and while i may not have this i think it said 0.4 percent of british people have it that's what they had um, found in their study and your dad comes from britain yeah exactly ah. so perhaps i have it and he's got pretty low pain tolerance too not to drag my dad on the podcast there's nothing wrong with having a low pain tolerance <laughs> thank you say it to the pod but say it to me look me in the eye say that to me there's nothing wrong with having a low pain tolerance there's <laughs> not you and couldn't even hold the eye no i just because i can't hold eye contact period different issue um <laughs> but no i think that there is obviously nothing wrong with it and i think sometimes my maybe um insensitivity literally to your sensitivity is a lack of literal like understanding yeah it's you being and, unable to relate yes exactly and anyways it is it is so, so if you're out there and you also I, we can share this study like because then you can just throw it in someone's face when they call you a baby